Congratulations on the new Accord. Today I'm gonna to show you a few ways that you can personalize your vehicle to make it your own. First, let's start with customizing some of your audio settings. You'll notice on your main screen, on the left-hand side, you have a radio button. Go ahead and select that. From here, you'll be able to scroll through FM1, FM2, and AM. In order to preset some of your favorite stations, you'll notice on the right-hand side of the screen, the list select knob. From here, you can go ahead and turn the knob to your favorite station. When you found the station that you wanna to listen to, hold down one of the buttons one through six until you hear a beep. When you hear the beep, you'll notice that now your station is set as one of your favorite presets. Head back to your radio button till you get to FM2. From here, you have another six presets. By hitting the radio button again, it'll go ahead and it'll scroll you through all of your AM and FM radios. Heading down now to the button underneath the radio button. From here, you'll see a media option. Select that. From here, this allows you, without being paired up to Bluetooth, to go ahead and plug in your cord to the USB port. From here, you can plug in your phone, an MP3 player, or an iPod. You can actually play your music from your phone or your device right through the audio system. Simply by plugging in your cord to your device, you'll notice a little USB icon pop up right next to the time in the upper right-hand corner. This is how you'll know you're connected. Once your device is connected, from here you'll be able to scroll through your devices on your media button. You'll notice that we've come up to show that we are connected to an iPod. From here, you actually have the option to play, pause, rewind the song over again, and move through your selection on your device. You also have the option on your steering wheel controls on the left-hand side to lower and raise the volume as well as skip to the next song. Next, I'm gonna show you how to hook up your Bluetooth and pair your phone to the vehicle. On the right-hand side of your screen, you're going to notice a phone icon. Select the button underneath that. The car's going to ask you if you'd like to add a new phone. Select yes. Head to your settings on your phone and from here, you're going to select Bluetooth. Make sure your Bluetooth is on and then head back to the screen. You're going to select OK once you make sure your Bluetooth on your phone is on. From here, you're going to follow the prompts. Operation of a Bluetooth device. Select your phone from the screen. Compare the numbers displayed on your device and on the vehicle display, then follow the instructions on your device. Once the number that pops up on your screen matches the number that pops up on your phone, click Pair on your phone. Next, it's going to ask you on your phone if you'd like to allow your contacts to sync. The device has been added. From here, you can select allow or don't allow. On your screen of your vehicle, you'll notice that it'll let you know that your phone is now connected to the car. From here, when you select your phone icon on the right-hand side of the screen, you can move through speed dial, call history, your contacts from your phone, as well as dialing a new number. You also can head to your phone setup and from here, you can select through your ringtone, audio transfer, and you can also clear your phone from the system if you choose to do so. Once your phone is paired up, we're now going to go ahead and customize your settings for the vehicle themselves. Head down to your clock and menu option on the right-hand side of the screen and select the button underneath. From here, you can adjust your clock and also head to your settings. By scrolling down on your knob on the right-hand side, select settings. And from here, you have the option to go through your Bluetooth setup, display adjustment, changing your clock and wallpaper, your rear camera, as well as any display change and color theme to customize the vehicle. From here, you can also change the language on your vehicle, as well as the clock format, even from 12 hours to 24 hours. Next, you can head down to vehicle settings. From here, you can personalize the settings on your vehicle, anywhere from driver assist system setup to meter setup, to even the lighting setup in your vehicle, your door and window setup, as well as resetting your car back to default if needed. Next, I'm gonna show you how to adjust your climate settings. From here, the climate is going to be at the bottom of the dash. You'll be able to turn your climate from on and off, as well as control your front and rear defrosters. You'll also be able to turn your air conditioning on and off. The cool thing about this is you'll also be able to control where the fan is coming from. You'll be able to move your mode around as well as changing your climate on the driver's side. By selecting the sync button, you'll be able to control your driver and passenger climate right from the driver's side. By unselecting your sync option, the passenger will be able to control their climate to their liking. 
Underneath your gear shifter, you're gonna notice three separate options. The first option you'll come across is gonna be your econ button. It's easy to locate because it's bright green. When selected, you'll notice a green tree pop up on the dash of your vehicle. Essentially, all it's going to do is give you better gas mileage. It's going to allow you a better gas fuel efficiency for long trips by taking a little bit of power away from the engine. You won't notice a difference when it's on. Your next option is going to be your parking brake. You'll notice this is now an electronic parking brake. In order to activate the parking brake, you simply pull up on the lever. You'll notice that your parking brake is on because it'll show a little red light, as well as letting you know that it's on right on your dash. In order to take the parking brake off, you simply go all the way down on the brake of your vehicle and push down on the button. Your brake light will then turn off as well as the little red light. Last but not least, your Honda brake hold. Your brake hold is super easy to activate. When you're in drive, the vehicle's on and you have your seatbelt on and you've come to a complete stop, press your brake hold button. This will allow the words brake and hold to pop up right on the screen. You can now take your foot off the brake and relieve yourself of any time, energy, or pressure. This also can be used in ATMs, drive-thrus, or heavy traffic on the highway or throughway, even in the city. It also lets the person behind you know that you're still on the brakes by having your brake light on instead of shifting to park. On the right-hand side of your steering wheel, you're going to notice your cruise control options. From here, you can also access some of your Honda Sensing safety features, such as your adaptive cruise control and lane keeping assist. By selecting the main button, you'll notice your adaptive cruise control and lane keeping assist options are now on. By selecting the steering wheel between the two dotted lines, that's gonna be your lane keeping assist. When those lines become solid on straightaways such as highway and throughway driving, you'll know the car is detected to the road. Essentially, it's just to help guide you through the lanes and keep you in one spot. Your adaptive cruise control option is going to be the button right next to it. It looks like a car icon with three little lines behind it. When this is turned on, it allows you to adapt the vehicle in front of you and keep you at four separate distances away from that vehicle. The car will also beep and let you know when you've come to detect a vehicle in front of you, as well as when you've undetected the vehicle in front of you. By turning these both off, you simply select your main option, and now you're back to normal. The options on the left-hand side of your steering wheel holds a lot of information. From here, you can access your Bluetooth. You can speak to the vehicle and ask it to call somebody in your contacts, you can also hang up a phone call as well as pick up a phone call while driving hands-free. Your middle button is going to be your scroll option. By simply scrolling up and down and pressing in, this allows you to select whatever you wanna display on your screen. The home button is very important. Selecting your home button allows you to change what your dash looks like from tachometer to range and fuel, letting you know how many miles you have left till empty and what your miles per gallon is, as well to speed and time, traffic signs at the local area, driver support, and driver attention. You also can scroll down to your safety support. Your safety support is going to show you your other two Honda Sensings. From here, you'll be able to turn on and off your road departure mitigation, as well as your collision mitigation braking. Your road departure mitigation is going to allow you from anywhere from 45 to 90 miles an hour, if you cross over a solid line only, the car will verbally let you that you've departed the road. Your collision mitigation braking is a pre-warning brake system. It'll let you know when something's come to a complete stop in front of you by beeping and flashing the brake light on the screen. If you have any further questions on personalizing your vehicle, visit our website or give us a call. And from Mohawk Honda family, we appreciate your business. Congratulations again and enjoy your vehicle.